Yeah, I remember um, Brian Doherty, he had the idea for this um, summer theater. And the Niagara Lake at the time was in pretty bad shape. There were a lot of uh, vacant stores on the main street. And we just thought, well, that's people are, were, were driving more to St. Catharines now and uh, they weren't buying locally. And so that was just a sign of the times, the, the vacant stores, stores closing. So anyway, Brian Doherty, he uh, had this idea that he was going to have a, a, summer, a summer theater for maybe two, three, four weeks, whatever, could draw. And uh, we, didn't, we didn't think too much of it, but we thought, well, you know, okay, they, they rented him some space in the, in the courthouse, which was, was good for the courthouse because they were always trying to make, make some money, you know. And so he rented it out for this um, Shaw Festival. Because when we were kids, we used to go to dances up there every uh, Saturday. They would have dances, you know, for teenagers, and we, we would go there. So we, And so they wanted to have Shaw Festival up there, and we thought, well, that's fine. It get, gets put to use. And uh, and then when they, they were talking about building a theater, well, they built the theater right where our, our scout lodge was, because we used to go to Cubs and Scouts. And right where the scout lodge was, they gave them that land for the for the theater to be built. We thought, wow, it's really something, you know, a, a brand new theater for Niagara Lake. But we thought, well, maybe it'd be a good thing to be bring more people to town, you know. And, because um, Niagara used to be uh, some, a lot of summer homes for uh, American well-to-do people. And uh, they would come in the summertime, but the, during the wintertime, of course, this was just a summer theater anyway, but there, there wasn't, not, not much happening in Niagara. And then when Shaw came, all well, the things things started picking up, and I'll never forget my father saying, "They've ruined our town. They've ruined our nice little town." I said, "What are you talking about?" I said, "Things have never been better. Look how busy the main street is." He says, "Yeah, but he said people are moving to town. Nobody knows anybody anymore. I used to know everybody in town, and now strangers are coming to town, buying property and living here." And I said, "Well, yeah, but that's a good thing." But he he didn't think so because it was a small town was being lost.